Hopkinton Dover Sherborne girls co-op hockey took on Medway in their final game of the season. Medway netted two first half goals. And now it'll float into Hopkinton territory. And there's a shot and a goal for Medway. How about that? A nice start for Medway as Jenna Fitzsimmons nets it in. Back. Leaving it out in front there was Fitzsimmons brushed away. And now a shot in front of the net and another Medway goal. Maggie Lester nets it. A great feed by Fitzsimmons. And it's a 2-0 game. Medway took the win 3-0, but it was a strong effort by the Hopkinton co-op team against a very strong Medway team. Congratulations on a great season to the players and the first-year head coach, Scott Hayes. Hopkinton boys basketball met up with Ashland for their winter season finale. We start off with the JV game. Sam Pantera knocked down several points in the first quarter to help the Hillers to a 16-5 lead. And this is the last game of the season for the boys teams. Stevens with a nice feed over to Pantera and Pantera puts it in. Nice early lead for the Hillers. In the second quarter, three different Hillers netted multiple field goals. Up and good wow. is Dessenroth. Looked like a couple hands on that ball when he shot it. Hopkinton led 31 to 20 heading into the third quarter. Hyman feeds it over to Dessenroth who finishes. The Hillers kept hitting well from the field and hung on to take the win in their season finale over Ashland, 61 to 54. Whole different uh, team out here in the second quarter. Hillers are struggling a little bit, but there's a three from Bertucci Bissonette. Good response. In the varsity game, it was a 16 to 13 Ashland lead after a back and forth first quarter. Both these teams for sure. All the way for three. No good. Batted up. Pulled down by Barazzini. Here comes Keith. Out to Marazzini. He'll launch the three. Knocks it down. The Hillers offense was unstoppable in the second quarter as they struck for 18 points and took a 31-25 lead into the half. Marazzini. Over to Raheem in the corner for three, knocks it down. In the third quarter, both teams put up 16 points apiece. Feeds it over to Raheem. Now up to Di Pietro, now to the corner. Keefe, yes, swishes it through. He has 14 points this afternoon. Hillers led 47 to 41 heading into the fourth. Kicks it out to Raheem, up for three, got it! Caleb Raheem with his second three of the game. He has six points. More back and forth in the fourth quarter, but the Hillers hung on to take the win 60 to 56. They finished with three wins and six losses overall. Hillers boys varsity hockey took on Ashland over at Loring Arena. Hillers netted four first half goals. Back to the neutral zone. Set to Ashland territory. Getting there for the Clockers is Riva. And now sent out by Mara. Dixon takes a shot. And now out in front of the net, Carrazza pokes it in. Joe Carrazza makes it a one to nothing Hillers lead. And Mara trying to clear. Mera flips it over to the neutral zone, and here comes Carrazza, and he was looking for a break there. Mera with the backhander, and that's in! The Hillers score a shorthanded goal. Have it, Mera! 
Joe Carrazza nearly had a nice break. Did not get the puck placed like he wanted, but was able to flip it to Mara, and Mara puts it in with 8.56 left to go in the first half. Back and forth we go in Ashland territory. Now up behind the net is Aiden Walsh. He'll send it out. And over to Carrazza, and it's going to be put in! Joe Carrazza with another goal. Mara looking for a shot, and it is going to be yet another goal for the Hillers. Hopkinton added two more in the second half. Break up the ice and a good shot there. He is going to be a player to watch over the next couple of years. Sends it over to Mara. Mara. And now Zolotarov will flip it in. Zolotarov ends up with it wide open in front of the net and is able to flip it in to make it 5-1 to one Hillers. For Andrew Moore, he'll take a long shot and wrap that one around. Hillers in the midst of a change. Caleb Dacey back into the game. And Dacey looking for a shot, he pokes it in! Unbelievable! It got by Milko and Dacey able to poke it in. How about that? The senior comes into the game and gets a beauty of an opportunity to poke it right through the five hole and make it a six to one game. The Hillers took the win six to two. Hopkinton lost a road game to Medfield in their season finale and finishes the season with six wins and three losses overall.